Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what clothes you need to get started with cycling. So let's go ahead and get started. The most basic part of the cycling kit is going to be your jersey and cycling shorts. So there's actually two different types of cycling shorts you can see here. And one is this simple one without any straps. And this one is with what's called bib straps. The beginner shorts are usually a little bit more beginner friendly, but there may be a problem if you're doing longer rides and the shorts may move around a little bit. So if you're planning to do some longer rides, I definitely recommend going with the bib shorts style. These will help keep the shorts in position. So when you're getting out of the saddle to climb and yeah, just on those long days, you don't want this moving around on you and creating extra discomfort. So if you're doing long rides, these are the way to go. The main disadvantage of the bib shorts though, is you have to put these on underneath your jersey. So if you need to go to the bathroom, usually you need to remove your jersey and then remove the bib straps. So if you go to the bathroom often, maybe go with the regular plain cycling shorts like this. And the next essential item you're gonna need is your cycling jersey. So this is the basic short sleeve cycling jersey and cycling jerseys are really great. They're designed to keep the sweat off of your body and they also have pockets in the backside right here so you can carry all your essential items. You can carry your wallet, your smartphone, a spare tube, everything that you need. And the Santic jerseys also often use some reflective materials on their jerseys, which helps make you more visible at night so you're safer on the road with cars. There are different styles of short sleeve jerseys. Sometimes they're only three quarter zips, but I recommend going for a full zip jersey. That way it's easy to get on and off. Most jerseys nowadays are full zip and there are different materials on the jerseys. So if you're riding in really hot weather, you may wanna get a jersey that's more breathable. You can see this one has more solid material in the front and back. And this jersey is different material, so it's more breathable in here, allowing more air to pass through. So if you're riding in hotter weather, if your summers are really hot, I recommend going for a summer specific style jersey. This one's really cool, it's got the tropical design. But if it's not too hot where you're riding, you can go with a standard short sleeve jersey like this. The other great thing about short sleeve jerseys is you can add on to them. So if it does get a little bit too cold out there, you can put arm warmers on your arms like this. Some arm warmers are designed for colder weather, but these ones are actually designed for the summer. So if you don't want the dangerous UV rays on your skin, you can put on the arm warmer like this. And these are the summer UV protection arm covers from Santic. And I often use these on my summer rides to protect my skin from the sun. And actually, even though we're adding more materials, these help you cool down. So it makes it feel cooler when you're riding. So these are another great addition and they just fold up really small like this. You can put them in your back pocket when you don't need them. Simple as that. Our next essential item is going to be protecting your hands. So if you're gripping on the handlebars for a long time or if you accidentally have a crash and fall down and touch the ground, you want to have something protecting your hands. It's extremely important. So in the summer, I recommend going with a short finger style glove like this which has some padding on the inside here to protect your hands on those longer rides. There are a whole bunch of different styles of gloves too. We can get full finger summer gloves. Once we get to the colder weather, we can get full finger winter gloves. And for the really, really cold days, I recommend going with these lobster style gloves. These group your fingers together, which help keep your fingers nice and warm on the cold days. So it really depends on where you're living and what kind of weather you have. So start with the base layer. You have your jersey, you have your shorts, you have your gloves. And as it gets colder, we can add more layers. And the fourth essential item is going to be our cycling socks. So these are designed to work well with your cycling shoes. They help keep the sweat off of your body. They're really lightweight. They're really smooth and comfortable and last a long time. So I have some cycling socks from Santic that we've been using for years and they're still really good quality. They have a whole bunch of different colors. You can get different lengths. So longer ones, shorter ones. It's all a matter of what you like, what style you like and what is more comfortable for you. The longer style socks can help keep you warmer and protect your skin from the sun. These are the average length though. I think these are good for most people. And that's everything for the essential items. Now let's continue on with some of the optional items and some of the seasonal items that we use in different situations. Another nice accessory is the base layer. So this is useful on summer days, on fall days. This helps absorb all of the sweat and protect your jersey so it can add an extra layer of insulation. It helps keep you warmer. It can also help keep you cooler. So generally a good item to have and most riders will ride with a base layer underneath their jersey. These are really lightweight, usually really comfortable materials, really breathable materials. So I definitely recommend getting some kind of base layer. 
And as we get into the cooler seasons, so fall season or spring season, or if you're going in the mountains, it's good to have some sort of long sleeve jersey. So again, there's different materials. You can get a breathable long sleeve jersey. So if it's just a little bit cold, you can get one of these. You can see this jersey is quite breathable and see-through. It's just like the normal short sleeve jersey, but with the long sleeves attached, that's the only difference. However, you can buy some different materials for your long sleeve jerseys, which are more like jackets. And this one is made with much warmer material. So on a really cold day, these long sleeves thermal materials are gonna be really comfortable, your best friend. So if you don't ride outside in the winter, you don't need to worry about getting all these extra materials. Just start out with the basics, get the basic jersey, get the basic shorts. You can start from there and continue to build your collection over time. But if you do ride outside in the winter, it's really nice to get these winter accessories, these winter cycling jackets. They make your riding in the winter just really comfortable. One of my favorite items for winter riding are the winter tights from Santic. So these are like the cycling shorts, but they're fully extended all the way down. They cover all of your legs and these are lined with fleece on the inside. So a really warm material, great for winter cycling. And these are my favorite cycling accessory in winter here. And I use these every day on my winter bike commute. However, a nice cheap alternative is to go with leg warmers. And just like with the arm warmers, these go on your legs just like this with your regular shorts. You pull them up like this, tuck them on under your regular shorts, pull your shorts back, and there we go. We got full length cycling shorts. They're really easy to work with. You can take them off if you get too hot during your ride. So really convenient to bring with you on those days that are a little bit too hot, a little bit too cold. So they're great because you can take them off when you don't need them and you can put them on when you need them and they give you that flexibility to be as comfortable as possible on your rides. And one last accessory I want to introduce and this is a new one for me which I'm really excited about. This is a face mask from Santic. It's really thin material and this just slides on over your face like this. And here we go, we've got a comfortable face mask that we can use while riding. It's still really comfortable to breathe. And this also helps protect, cover your skin from the sun so you don't have to worry about getting sunburnt. So this is another one that I'm really excited about and it just pulls down and up like this so you can use it really easily. They also have some warmer ones, some thicker ones that you can use in the winter. Anyway, that's all the cycling clothing I'm going to introduce in today's video. I hope this video was helpful to you in learning more about cycling clothing and what you need to get out and ride. And be sure to check out all of the awesome cycling gear from Santec. They make really great stuff at an affordable price and they're one of my favorite brands to work with. We've been riding them for years and they make amazing stuff. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.